That's great. Don't worry. Yeah, this side, this side. This side. No, 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 okay. And on how five-way uh, products, can you just throw some more details uh, going forward? How do you see the growth coming in the off five way especially the JCBs and uh, off five way segments? Uh, yeah, off five way is, is little white uh, canvas. You know that. I mean, uh, it, it includes uh, if you look at road construction, which is doing pretty good for the moment. Uh, we are not sure uh, how the focus is going to be in coming years, but at least next two years we see that there are projects in pipeline which will take uh, the road concession in, in a pretty growth path. Okay, we, we expect 15 to 20 percent growth in coming years. Uh, if you look at uh, another area where we see uh, growth possibilities in waterways, uh, cleaning, uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, focus on sanitation, uh, town building, uh, we look at uh, things like uh, Shakar Mahala where uh, ports are getting built. So we see uh, uh, inherent demand uh, which is aligned with government focus on infrastructure. So we think next two, three years for sure, uh, because projects are already in pipeline, it cannot be taken out, it is, it is already rolled out. So next two, three years we are very confident on the growth. And after that we will have to wait and see. We built this plant adjacent to our existing plant, so we are not saying it's a green result. So. Would you export your products to more countries, from 14 countries to more, as you are expanding the capacity? Yes, that's, uh, expanding our export business is one of our target, uh, target for this investment. Which are some of the new markets you are targeting? It's not new market. There are the additional demand coming from existing. So existing, uh, there will be Yes, if you look at China, US, uh, Europe, they are doing pretty good, and their demand coming up. So we are trying to serve them. Yeah, the all parts are manufactured here, or you importing something? Your machine parts. I would say around 70, 75 percent of parts are uh, manufactured here or sourced locally. Okay. Uh, there are. Uh, Critical parts like uh, bearings, electric motors, hydraulic motors, those things are imported from uh, port source. So 70% is 40% local? 70% local. Every region of uh, India, being closer to the customers. Mr. you mentioned about the India strategy that you have. What's the India advantage that you have? So India has the India So is there any advantage of India? I think uh, the advantage uh, with respect to more traditional countries like Europe is uh, here we have access to a lot of uh, competence, especially engineering competence, which are uh, largely available in India. And the fact that we start this process rolling, I see that we are able to attract a lot of young engineers. I mean, you graduate more engineers in India in one year that in Italy probably in uh, 50 years, <laughs> okay? We are an attractive company now, so we can uh, generate with young, good, motivated engineers a lot of strength. And this is uh, a very important driving force. The, the world, the, the, the center of gravity of the world is shifting, and, and, and we see that, and we want to be there. What's the current question? I think you have uh pointed at a key point. Uh, in the world, uh, there is one strategic point that uh, companies, but even more countries, has to control, that are competencies. So all the world will face in the next uh, 10 years, uh, even less, uh, the digital transformation. And to do that, you need engineers, you need competence. This is something that uh, I honestly think uh, could give uh, to India great advantage because of the competence uh, that uh, has been created here. I remember when uh, we had here in India the, uh, the challenge of uh, electronic and uh, informatic system. India became a, a pillar of this transformation. Now we have this new challenge that will change the dimension of the market, the way to live of everyone, every sector. So we think uh, India for the group uh, is a great opportunity also for future for these uh, digital competencies. It is something that is not yet clear. No one has yet uh, 
the final solution, the final answer. But no doubt that when you have uh, every year millions of engineers, competent guys uh, willing to challenge itself uh, to new strategy, to new challenge, it's a great opportunity for this country and uh, I honestly think it will be a great opportunity for our company to be bigger and have a strong pillar here in India. Also for this uh, new digital adventures that we don't have yet an, an answer, we are working a lot of that. We are working, investing a lot. No one has the final answer, but we want to be present in this. Support our workers, employees, engineers to grow their competence. So we will have in the world a lot of requests of competent people, not only engineers, because uh, the work will not be done only by engineers. There, there must be workers uh, with good uh, competence. But uh, what the, po the key point, India is a younger country. Everyone is using mobile. So when we use the mobile for personal use, why don't we use a smartphone for work? So if we don't have to shift our brain. We are the same person that are very smart to use a, a mobile phone when we buy something on e-commerce, when we buy our next flight. So why don't we use that? So Indian people are the smart people that can play a key role in this new challenge. Six months ago, with this offer to join the board, I find it quite remarkable that 20, 25 years ago, the company had the vision to make a major investment in India and really get committed to India in a very big way. And then after talking to Sonia and Mr. Foster, I realized that we are really serious about the business in India. Whatever you hear today is something which is coming out after years and years of effort. So I think uh, if I look at the fact that India is already the second largest business from a domestic turnover standpoint, Clearly, there is a lot of interest and commitment to the company from the global principle. And you can see that today, in fact, the leaders from the other countries were taken to see the plant with spaces earmarked for new, new equipment to come, which will largely be to service their markets. So I think the company was very open to say that this capacity has been created. And obviously, such a capacity has been created. It is fully with the involvement of the principal company. So I think there is a very strong vision. Uh, so that's really what I find quite remarkable and what fits really and I was quite attractive. So my role is a non-executive independent role, uh, clearly born to give strategic direction, to mentor the top management of the company, and in future when decisions come about where to invest in India, which locations, probably I will be able to add some value. And over time as the company becomes larger and larger, in industry forums and government related activities, I believe I should be able to add some value. We are here today to announce a very large investment of Bofinoli. We are expanding our facility, which is already existing since 20 years here in Tamil Nadu. And uh, this will give uh, opportunity, more opportunities of growth for the Indian market and also to export products from India. We, as Bonfiglioli Group, believe India is a wonderful country for being in, but also as a great place for manufacturing products for the world. We have taken a long time to invest, to generate this capacity, and now we want to fully leverage this opportunity. Mr. Canari, our local country manager, will be leading this new project for us and we trust and we are totally sure that he will accomplish the mission with great success. Mike, are you yeah, uh, If you look at our leadership team, it's completely Indian. So, I'm, so that gives me a lot of proud moment to, to what we have accomplished so far. We, we grew from a small company to now more than 120 million euro company, which is uh, giving a significant uh, revenue to my parent company to take out the share of this And we are now become a, a significant footprint for uh, one floating group for the years. And that makes us very proud.
and this is a moment of how for us not seeing this new expansion uh, which is uh, a state of art facility including uh, state of art assembly cells, machining, uh, equipment and painting both. And you will love what is seen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.